Now, there are actually quite a variety of different kinds of shapes of skulls. As I'm talking about the skull doing the skull here, I'm also going to take and uh, uh, do some of some the various animals at the same time. So we'll be getting a, a in a sense, a, a comparison of uh, different uh, types. But again, uh, they have the same elements that we're always dealing with. Now that I've got it basically uh, uh, blocked in, I uh, come back in and uh, start to push the uh, structural, the three-dimensional elements to it. Now, first, uh, what I'm doing in the process of doing the drawing now. I'm doing lines of the corner of the eye socket now. You can see how this is really coming out. And we pull down, and this is the plane that's going down. Uh, but in reality, of course, this all turns. And, and like on the other side now, this pulls through into into the eye socket. Now this is a there's actually a this is a plane across here. And it gets narrow at this point here. But at the, all of this, there's this is a ridge. This is going down in. This is going down in and we feel there's a there's a plane here where we come down to the side of the nose. To that point, so we can really feeling this spot in here. We come through. Now I want to push all of this going inside. Through. Round. This, like as I'm saying, there. This is a. This is a ridge. This is all, this is going back in this way. And there's a fairly narrow point here. And this is, as this comes down, this is pulling down. It's like on the other side, this is a plane that's going down. So. Okay, now continuing on with this here. I'm trying to pull out the cheekbone here. The zygomatic arch, more correctly. And I really feel the way this goes back. And talking about the thickness in here, as we come through, and really, I'm Treating all of this now is just a simple volume and without taking and dealing with the teeth per se. And we can feel this is all this is going underneath. Notice that the, uh, the the chin actually has some pretty strong points. And this is again, this is varies. But there's actually the chin has the has, has corners, and these bumps. Uh, and uh, for instance, in this head here, they're not actually symmetrical. It's the one bump is a little bit more off to one side than the other. And so this is again one of those pretty strong variables. That we see, but in general, what we have is a fairly squarish feeling, and we can feel where this. I'm going to play this up a little bit. The way this pulls up into 
and where the teeth would be. I guess I have to take a little bit of indication here. Where's the margin? Here's where the skull has come through. So let's go back. Yeah. Through and then the teeth come through here. <coughs> now, what I want to do is take and use some wash to take and go over this. Take and get the form. Take and going back. Understanding. So over the years, I've done this uh, numerous times. And I actually have a real skeleton. I'm working from a uh, plastic uh, a medical uh, catalog type skull here. The real ones I try not to use very often because it tends to it's old and the actual bone tends to chip. So I don't deal with it very often. All of this is going in.